This is one of my pool fountains that I emptied. It had some other rock in there. It filled it full of rock, kind of matched the pool. So I'm going to show you what it looks like with a three quarter inch clear glass rock in it I'm using as my base. Well, since this fire glass is full of glass shards and everything, I'm going to put this in the I gotta rinse it all off. Since it's going in the pool fountain, I gotta make sure I got as much of the glass shards out as I can, because otherwise it's gonna be a mess. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rinse this over and over several times before I put it in the fountain. And I'm still gonna use gloves, and then when I get done, I'm all finished, then I'll do some filtering coming out of the fountain. So I'll ensure that I've caught pretty much everything that's going to be loose around uh, the uh, the glass, and but maybe the bigger pieces will probably fall to the bottom because they're not going to float out. Okay, I've got the uh, aquarium lights mounted, and I've got just about two and a half, actually 25 pounds of the glass rock installed in the fountain. Yeah. I've got these uh, these aquarium lights in here and I'm gonna start covering them up once it gets a little bit darker at that point then I can um, here's the glass rock um, each one of these fountains holds 60 pounds of this I guess it's three-quarter inch uh, glass rock so I said I've got about 25 in. I've got to put quite a bit more in. And once I cover these lights up and I set them, because what I want to do is, because these lights are only 180 degrees on one side, I want to cover half of this fountain with each one so that it gets a even glow. So I'm going to watch this when it gets a little darker and make sure. Um, this edge, the underside edge, gets about halfway into the bottom of this, and the other one does about halfway. So that way I know the bottom is going to be covered so I don't have a large shadow in there. And, uh, and then it'll also give me enough uh, light for both the front and back edges to cover it, because I've already got the other side done, and I've already tested it, but I don't have all the larger glass rock that I'm putting on the top in there so when I get all that done and both of them are up and running then um, I'll explain a little bit more okay this is the same fountain just showed you this is with 60 pounds or six 10 pound boxes of three quarter inch clear glass rock we originally anticipated it would take about 30 to 35 pounds. So I purchased it for both fountains and I just realized after filling it that it takes 60 pounds just to fill it full to here. And then I'm going to add the larger three, quart, three to four inch glass rock on top of that. And that looks very sparse for 25 pounds. I'm going to have to double that original um, estimate to probably 50 pounds per fountain. Okay, I've got the uh, three quarter inch, 60 pounds of three quarter inch in this fountain now. And uh, what I have in here is a bucket about 25 pounds of three to four inch. And I'm going to distribute over the top of here, make it look pretty good. And then I'm going to go ahead. I've got another 25 pounds. I got to split between this and the other fountain. But it already has 25 of the big in it. So all this rock is obviously glass. So be very careful with it. And uh, just uh, when you're putting it in there, rinse everything off. If you're especially if you're going to have it in water, just rinse it all off. And uh, I just lay it in here. Because uh, 
once I kind of get it in here, then I can get a better idea of how I, I want it situated. So I'm just going to get these pieces up here and just kind of sit them down. And then uh, I'm going to disperse them in a manner that uh, the better ones have the light reflecting off them. And then, you know, of course, because this thing sits up here like this, you know, I'll find a way. Because this thing sits up here like this, I'll find something to kind of cover it up. You know, just give it a little bit of uh, coverage. So, uh, I'll be back. Right now, I'm trying to filter the glass shards that may be still on the bottom of the glass your pantyhose at the end of the fountain so hopefully it'll catch any little pieces of glass they're still in the fountain after I've uh, already filtered them several times and rinsed them but I don't want to take any chances of anything getting in the pool after I took the other one got them both being filtered through the Pantyhose. Trying to keep everything uh, glass free as possible. Okay, for the fountain power, I've temporarily got a cord connected to my GFI from my pool feeding the um, aquarium lights controllers and I used a uh, waterproof box here and uh, some uh, vehicle uh, wiring loom protection that I painted for the wires coming out that are exposed and then I put a plug-in in here that splits it so I can plug each one of the transformers in for the aquarium lights and then the controllers and then they have their little infrared receiver so if I want to change the colors of the lights or turn them on I have to open this box and use the remote control and make the changes and at least I know this is protects them from the Sun and uh, water you see it'll run the back when I'm done and eventually I'll replace this extension cord with a uh, underground and it'll be another GFI right next to here so I'll have a very short cord going into this box like I do on the other side because there's a GFI right over there so that's basically how I uh, protect the uh, the fountains the fountain controllers from uh, moisture or Sun because the Sun will deteriorate it as well and that should conclude it So it'll give you an idea what the color schemes go through on each. Kind of, I've got it set separately. So you can see what they're doing. What colors are possible to create. I don't like the red and the dark blue, but that's my personal 